Hey, hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Few day back, I made a speedometer and digital clock project using GP02 and ESP32. That project was awesome, and you all love that project. But there is a problem in that project. The precision of GP02 module is not that good. I want more accuracy for my this digital clock and speedometer project. A few day back, Reax has sent me their GNSS module, that is RYS 352A module. When I tested that GNSS module, I find that module is very accurate and very precise. So I thought why not to replace that GP02 module with this GNSS module that Reax has sent to me. So I tested that module and I also make a dedicated video on comparing GP02 module and Reax RYS 352A GNSS module. If you want you can watch that video, you will get the link in the description also in the i button of the video. So in this video I am going to make that project again but in this video I am going to use Reax RYS 352A GNSS module instead of GP02 module. And also I made some more improvement in this project. We will uh, make same project that is speedometer and digital clock but there is a some improvement. In this project I am going to change the hertz that is the update rate of the project. Uh, in the previous project in which I had used the GP02 module the update rate is 1 hertz but in this project the update rate will be 5 hertz. And also I am going to use the PPS that is pulse per second which will give more accurate satellite data and much more faster. And apart from this there is a lot more improvement. So watch this video till end. Now let's get into this video. Before getting into this video I want to let you know about Altium. Altium is a leading provider of innovative PCB design software and tools that are transforming the electronics industry. Altium has some amazing features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing face and length tuning, follow me routing and lot more which make it an ideal choice for PCB designing tool by a lot of companies. With the addition of Altium 365, this leading PCB design software in the world moves into a whole new dimension, creating seamless collaboration across the entire PCB design process. Altium 365 allows us to share our PCB design online via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and lot more. And if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design, try Altium Student Lab. You will get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365. So you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skills and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skills that lead to real jobs with Altium Student Lab. And benefits of this Altium Student Lab is, you will get free access to Altium Designer Student License and PCB Design courses, university level curriculum and course certified from Altium Education, free access to Power Analyzer by Keysight. This is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills. Uh, thanks to Altium for sponsoring this video. For more details, check out the link in the description. Uh, this is the code for our today's project. This code is same as the code that we are using the GP02 project. So if you want to the detailed explanation of this code, you can watch that video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to only explain the changes that I made in this uh, code. So all the codes are same. The only changes are here. Uh, you need to change the board rate of the GNSS module. In the GP02 module, the board rate was 9600, but for this uh, RYS 352A module, the board rate will be 115200. And here in this project, we are using the PPS, that is the pulse per second signal. So that pin is connected at the pin 27 of the ESP32. So make sure you have to connect the PPS pin of uh, GNSS module to the uh, GPR27 of the ESP32. And apart from this, there is one more changes. Uh, let me show you. The whole code is same. Uh, this is small part of code is responsible for getting the accurate and synchronized data from the satellite. Uh, that means GP02 will get the accurate data from the satellite. Uh, this line, this is a boolean type uh, variable. This is actually a flag. Uh, this will uh, go true if we get the satellite data. That is every time we will get the PPS pulse, then this value will go true. Otherwise, it will be false. And this volatile means, that means we are telling the compiler that this variable value will be changed by the interrupt not only depend on the loop so this code will go to true or false by interrupt and here this value this is also volatile and long type variable last pps miles this will store the exact moment when we get the uh, pps signal from the satellite and this is the integer type variable that is last second this will give the uh, exact moment when we use the last uh, pulse to display the time in our OLED display uh, to avoid the flinkering in the OLED display 
so this variable is responsible for using exact which pulse we are used then this function that is uh, on pps this is the interrupt service routine which will responsible for giving exact time when our pulse per second data is changed to display in our OLED display and apart from this all the code is same uh, the only thing I need to explain one more thing that is here uh, this two line of code will set the update rate to 5 hertz uh, let me explain this thing in detail uh, this is just a command to print that GNSS update rate set to 5 hertz uh, let me explain this command that is this a dollar symbol PMTK220200 and uh, multiply 2C so let me explain this uh, this dollar symbol means this is the start of an NMEA or PMTK command and this PMTK220 means that is this is setting the NMEA update rate and this 200 this is the interval in milliseconds between updates that is uh, between two updates the interval is 200 milliseconds and this uh, star to see this means checksum for data integrity that is this is checking if this data is correctly received or not that is data integrity so we can calculate here that 200 millisecond means the gnss module will output data every after 200 milliseconds which is equal to 5 updates per second that is 5 hertz so that means the rys 352a now sends nmea sentence 5 seconds per second that means in every second we will get the 5 nmea data so the refresh rate that will go 5 hertz that means in every one second we will get five different sets of data which will give more accurate in our speedometer and uh, digital clock project in our last project that that is we when we using gp02 module this update rate will be one hertz now this is five hertz which will uh, make our project more accurate and more precise apart from this the whole code is same as gp02 module so no need to explain here if you want a detailed explanation you can watch that video you will get the link in the description uh, now go to tools and select the right board that is ESP32 dev module and right communication port and hit upload button. Uh, now connect the RYS52 GNSS module to the ESP32 according to this connection diagram. The only difference is in this project there is a one more connection which is PPS. The PPS pin of RYS352 will go to the GPI pin of 27. So everything same as the GP02 module the only difference is this uh, PPS pin. And one more thing, GP02 module will work on 5 volt and this RYS352 will work on 3.3 volt. So make sure you will connect VCC pin to the 3.3 volt of ESP32. Otherwise your GNSS module that is RYS52 will got burned out and it will got damaged automatically. So make sure to connect with 3.3 volt. Uh, now after uploading the code, now let's move to the outside and let's check this project, how this project will perform. And after that I will conclude this project, how this uh, project work and how this project perform and what is the accuracy and how this project is better than the GP02 module project. So let's go to outside and check this project. Here as you can see side by side this one is a speedometer digital clock based on the GP02 module and this one is based on the Reax RYS 352A GNSS module. You can see clear difference uh, this module is connected with the 12 satellites and this one is currently connected with the 27 satellites and I am in my studio so inside my room these two modules work differently this will connect to 13 satellite and this is connected to 27 satellites and due to this this will give much more accurate and precise results so let me explain this more as you can see this is in the clock mode so we can change the time zone by pressing this button npt bst jst ist and if we press for a five second then this will change the mode let me show you Now this is in the speedometer mode. Now we can monitor the uh, speed of our vehicle or anything and also you can see the number of satellite from which this module is currently connected and latitude value and latitude value. So let's go outside and check the speedometer thing. Uh, how accurate is this? So after testing this project I got some interesting finding. The first one is this project is much more accurate than the GP02 module project. Uh, let me explain what I want to say. 
the update rate is now 5 hertz in gp02 module the update rate was 1 hertz uh, due to this the accuracy that is the speedometer project is much more accurate than the gp02 module in gp02 the update was very slow uh, for example in google map app the speed was changes very accurately but in gp02 the update rate was very slow it will take about 1 to 2 second to give the exact speed that means the update rate is slow but in rysc 52a gnss module the update rate was very fast and the second finding is this is a gnss module that means this module will connect much more number of satellite than the gp02 module uh, as you can see this module will connect up to 25 26 or about 30 satellites and due to this we will get much more accurate result in our speedometer project as well as in our digital clock project and the third finding is that we are using here a pps signal pin so due to this pps we will get much more and much faster results so let's talk about the application of this project uh, you can use this project as a gps based digital clock system where very precise and accurate data is required for example it can be used to build high Highly accurate wall clocks or digital time display in the industries, railway station, or labs, where precise time synchronization is important. The PPS signal keeps the clock in perfect sync with the global UTC time. And apart from this, you can also make a vehicle speedometer and navigation system, in which it can be installed in cars, bikes, or boats to measure real-time speed and distance using the satellite data. Uh, since it uses GPS, it's independent of wheel sensors or mobile apps, and also we don't require any kind of RTC module. And apart from this we can also use as IoT time synchronization in large IoT networks timing plays a big role this project can be act as a master clock providing highly accurate timing signal to other devices and also you can use it as a scientific and research projects and i think the best application of this project is remote or offline clocks this project is ideal for places where there is no internet access like mountain regions construction sites or rural installation where accurate time and speed data are required and apart from this you can also use as a educational and learning projects so that's all in this video i hope you learn something new and you find this video useful so if you have any question or queries regarding this project or any other project you can contact me my whatsapp number or you can also contact me by email and apart from this you can comment in the comment section below so that's all in this video i hope you love this video so subscribe my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed and also share this video with your friends and like this video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye have a nice day